Um, I guess I'll go over my stuff real quick. I think I think I mentioned it slightly last week. Um, I kind of just messed around with Resident Evil Five because I just felt like it. Um, can we call up Resident Evil Five, please? That's the good one. We, we can talk, but yeah, we can talk about it for a little bit. But I, I have some very specific please. points I want to talk about for the PC no, no. Version. Like, can we co-op that? Like, I, listen, six. Oh, actually, actually, you know what? Six, I, I, I meant to message you, Sarah. Um, what? I might just go in and continue Resident Evil Six by myself because I don't want to torture you with that. But I do, do five, believe please? me and Mesa are are doing five. Uh, yeah, no. we're, we're we're like four hours in. We're like four hours in. We haven't played in a minute, but. Yeah, um, it's, it's up on. We should try to make. We should try to make space, make time like this um, week or so. Um, so we'll can to we, can we do Wednesday. Diablo three then? Yeah, we can do that. Because I because I want to play Diablo with you, PS4 and we can get uh, we can get yeah we can get Blaine on it too because because it's four four player co op. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, um, for the PC version of Resident Evil Five, there's a couple of issues. Oh, wait, One, answer it's my a, question. Answer my question. One question. Are the subtitles left indented? <laughs> no, they are not. <laughs> uh, for those that don't know, for whatever stupid reason, the subtitles on the PC version of Resident Evil 6 are all left indented. It is so fucking weird. We couldn't even concentrate on the cutscenes because we were too busy focusing on why would they put the subtitles they left were, in- They were left indented for like for, for you guys. Like they were legitimately like off to, it was like it was like mm. you're on Microsoft Word and someone hits that left indent button and just forgets that they hit it. So like a cutscene would be happening and you would think the cut the like subtitles would be at the bottom, you know, nah. Subtitles were to the left. <laughs> <laughs> it was so dumb. Yeah, but so the uh, the PC version of Resident Evil Five, it's it comes from the era of uh, games for Windows Live, so it just did not want to open at first whatsoever. So I had to uh, reach out to a buddy. Uh, thank you, Dio, friend of the show at Domf, not Dio motherfucker. I forget what it stood for, but D- at Domf for being a good boy. Uh, just just kind of pointed towards the link. Just like here, you have to download this for Games for Windows Live uh, legacy titles. But it worked after that, no problem. But um, I, I remember talking about like Resident Evil 7 a while ago on Twitter where I told people you should play that game with a gamepad even if you're on PC because playing with a mouse really ruins the game feel like you're supposed to have very slow movement. You're supposed to have very slow inaccurate aiming and having the power of a mouse kind of breaks the game and that is to such a fucking ridiculous degree in Resident Evil 5. So 4 and 5 they go off the uh, laser pointer system and it, it's like outside of like being diegetic it has very limited accuracy you have to be a little bit more th- methodical if you're playing with the mouse it says nope fuck that here's like a pinpoint accurate cursor for like regardless of whatever weapon you're using and so like any semblance of balance just goes completely fucking out the window it is legitimately like like i was playing on uh whatever the step above veteran is i think it's professional whatever and it is just an easy, like, House of the Dead, like, shooting gallery. It, it is not even close. Um, like, and back in the Resident Evil 4 video essay I did, like, fucking two years ago, I think, or something, that these games are so specifically designed around um, the fact that you can't move while you're aiming, the fact that the aiming is relatively, air quote, bad. Like, everything is designed around that. So if you empower yourself... Uh, with this with uh, with this aiming method but you don't fundamentally change the rest of the game it is, it is just broken on every single level i mean it's fun for shits and giggles going through like mopping the floor with all these enemies but that is an absolutely no way that you should have your original playthrough if that makes any sense because it i just don't think it's a good way to play the game and i actually talked to uh justin from uh SUGC, and he said he had a similar issue with the uh wii version of resident evil 4 which kind of had a similar aiming system albeit with motion controls and the wii motes but his uh his pointer aiming for the wii version of resident evil 4 was he said is it was disgusting and he finished the game with a 97 percent accuracy and 96 percent headshots that's how fucking accurate you can be and that's not how these games are meant to be played or it, it it's 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 fucking ridiculous. Uh don't don't play Resident Evil games with a mouse. It it breaks it. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Take that back. You can play the, the remakes with a mouse, they're fine. It doesn't break the game. But like four, five n- 
there's no real mouse cursor aiming in four to that same extent. It's you're still using the laser sight. Uh, don't play five. Don't play seven on the mouse. I don't think that's a controversial opinion. <laughs> Have either is anyone else? Or I think everyone here's played Resident Evil Five, right? Too many times to count. <laughs> Does, does that sound appealing at all to, to use the mouse? I mean, with the way that Resident Evil 5 runs on consoles, because it's like, once you get used to the aiming on, like, a gamepad, it honestly isn't that hard to get a lot of headshots, especially when, when, when the game's like, hey, here's a bow and arrow where you, you need to, like, evolve it to get the, like, iron sight in it to make it easier to, like, see where you're, like, aiming. It's, I mean, for me, I'm just used to aiming using a using like a gamepad and stuff. I've never tried it with a mouse. I'd be interested to try it with a mouse. Have you tried it in a house? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, stop. <laughs> I, I hate you. Okay. That one, that one was actually good. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you points for that one. It, it's even ridiculous to, to a degree, like even aside from like the pinpoint accuracy that you're able to spin around on a dime and just like <laughs> shoot people left and right. It's, it's a fun way to play. <laughs> I'll give it that. And in, a, in its own way, a very <clears throat> indirect accessibility mode. So I'll give it that. Um, let's see. I, I did some Resident Evil 2. I'll probably get into that another time. We're already um, in 30 seconds going to be over. I Sarah, would just everybody. like to say real quick that I played Little Nightmares 2 and it was really fun. And I love that series so much. I need to play it. I need to play and it. also everybody should get Valheim because it's really fun. <laughs> um i'm still playing through sack boy adventures i think i might have oh, i started that cyber- today with my girlfriend it's, it's, it's hella fun, fun. Uh, i think i might have glitched my cyberpunk gameplay and i might have lost like 80 plus hours or like 50 plus hours i forgot what i was at so oh, i haven't I touched that in a couple weeks due to intense anxiety <laughs> are you gonna go back eventually I, I'm going to hopefully go back eventually and see if i didn't fuck myself over well, no, I, but I, i'm I, still I, really filled with anxiety i think there's context we need to add to this and maybe this is just more of a pc background thing um mason you might be able to pack to back me up on this and for for like pc background games like there there was and even in games in general there wasn't there was a giant period where auto saves were not a thing so you have to manually save and and specifically for some pc games like um, I forget if it's rolling saves if I use the same one, but basically I use every possible save slot I can. So that way, if something happens, you can go back to a previous one if you need to like make a different decision or if there's a bug. But uh, Sarah, it would seem as if you were using the same save. Yes, is this correct? Yes, I was. Yes, I do I not. Was. I do not blame you. It is not your fault. Yes, I, I know. Uh, the it quick, is- quick context was I went in to do a side uh, side quest and I killed the person I was supposed to kill incredibly quickly because I was overpowered for the side for the side quest. And I killed every everybody, but I accidentally killed like one civilian and the cops were like, hey, you. And I was like, oh, no. So I like ran out to get away from the cops and I drove a bit away from the side quest. But the side quest was still active because I was still like in the general area. And I got stuck in combat mode. And I was like, oh, that's fine. Maybe if I just go start another side quest, they'll take me out of combat. Well, I went to start another side side quest, beat that side side quest incredibly fast, did not take me out of combat. And the game couldn't save, couldn't like auto save because it was still telling me I was in combat, even though I was like walking down the street. So I don't know. And I couldn't, and, and it wasn't giving me uh, experience either. Because, you know, I was in combat mode, so it wasn't going to give me experience, because how could I finish the quest if I wasn't in combat? So now I'm slightly scared. I think I'm going to be stuck in combat mode. That means I can't finish anything and not get experience for anything. So I have one how, fear. How and my one fear back, is losing 50 plus hours. How far back would that set you, though? Uh, Only, like, two side quests, but for anyone who's played... Oh, uh, that's Park not bad. I thought you said it was, like, 50 that's hours a lot of shit. Lose. Well, like, I, w- I would lose... Because I'm literally right at the end of the game. I'm trying to do the secret suicide mission ending, which is literally, if you die, the game goes straight to credits, and it doesn't count as you beating it. <laughs> so I'm like, so I'm like, uh, okay, I have to level up, and after I googled it, everyone was like... Re- we recommend you are either close to or at max level before attempting this ending. And I was like 10 levels away from like max. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to power 
level and get to max. I was at level like 43 when the game was like, you're stuck in combat mode. And I went, no. Oh! Well, I think I it's so just close. those two side quests. That shouldn't be too much to. I don't to know where on. the last autosave was, though, because I was stuck in combat. <laughs> the autosave isn't that great but it's not super it's terrible, not terrible. Really. i will say that while the game's broken as hell and keanu reeves won't love me back the, the autosave isn't terrible the autosave could be a lot uh, this, is a, like this a, is a wild I'm, tangent there's this what? movie called knock knock with keanu yes reeves. i know what you're talking about the weird keanu reeves and the two hot chicks don't know what the plot that, is I just know that, that's the that movie. movie gave me so much anxiety my girlfriend was watching i'm just like i'm just gonna go to i'm just gonna read the wikipedia article and i'm gonna go to bed <laughs> But no, it's like, I'm scared I'm going to lose a lot of time, and in Cyberpunk, two missions might not seem like a lot, but the driving between two missions the, is a lot, and I'm just like, oh. The real time lost was the 80 hours you already put in. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> like, so I haven't touched that in a while, but I'm almost done with Sackboy. I'm halfway through the medium. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting a copy of The Darkness delivered to me on Tuesday so I can play that. Um, and I'm going to start Control again once I get my brand new fancy TV on Tuesday so I can play at 60 FPS, 4K UHD, and I can play with the game running smooth as butter. Because I've been wanting to play Control again where the game doesn't slow down when I pick up one piece of paper and the and whole gonna, game goes like, we're going to play at PowerPoint speed. And you're going to get that like, sweet, yeah. sweet, sweet, sweet ray tracing. Hell yeah, I'm going to. I'm hype, man. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm getting a new TV delivered on Tuesday. It's my early birthday gift, so I get to who I get to play stuff at the right resolution. Important question for you, though, Sarah yes. and Corey. And I yes. think actually, you know what? Mesa Mesa is not going to be aligned with me. Are you part of the uh, ray tracing gang? Or are you part of the uh, performance gang? Uh, I honestly why don't did you care? just stab? I don't because sixty I FPS. Really <laughs> It depends on the game. It depends yeah, on the game. Yeah, I honestly game. don't care. Hey, I mean, Spider-Man, you don't gotta choose, right? It lowers population density if you choose both. Uh, you don't really yeah, I honestly, know. I don't care. You're flying above, you're flying at, like, it, mock it's also speed purportedly with your swinging above the city anyway. What, it's what does that matter? It's purportedly a glitchier experience from what I've heard. <laughs> I've not tried it myself. That's just what I've heard. Why at mock speed? And mock speed web slinger. But yes, join the uh, 60 <laughs> FPS game. No, stop. If you dab one more fucking time, don't you fucking, <laughs> Jose. All right, okay. well, no. bye guys. <laughs> yep bye <laughs> bye but uh right. i think that's gonna go ahead and wrap everything up all right um so two things t or fuck what was the first thing i don't even remember shit one thing that i remember <laughs> off the top of my head um everyone here is gonna be playing through the medium at some point or another or we'll go ahead and do a spoiler <laughs> talk episode <laughs> with our <laughs> thoughts um after i render all these videos you might think i'll probably get started on that uh monday night uh, so tomorrow night, um, I just want to go ahead and thank everyone for being on the show and everyone for watching. Uh, everyone's ads are on screen. Please go ahead and support everyone and everything that they do. Uh, like, comment, and all the socials. Uh, this podcast is filmed live at 6.30 p.m. PST on Sundays. It's later available on podcast services as well as YouTube in both full segments um, as the full episode and individual segments for easier digestion. Um, I occasionally stream here on Twitch. If you follow me on Twitter, which is the best place to keep up to date with everything I do, you'll get updates as to when I'm planning streams. Currently playing through Resident Evil 3. Um, yes, and occasionally he'll he'll appear on my channel and scream like a little baby. I did not scream. <laughs> I it just exerted high pitched noises from my from my orifice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. What was the second thing I was going to say? It was the medium. And what am I forgetting? Wasn't it about Patreon stuff? I saw it on the document. Yes, thank you, thank you. I forgot. This I am new to I am new to Patreon. I'm not used to having that in my little spiel. I forgot it to do at the beginning, and I kicked myself over that. Uh, I do have a Patreon now. It's mainly just to cover the costs of hosting the podcast on podcast services. I want to give a big shout out to Sly and Ramen Nomad for being my first two patrons. Um, patrons at the super patrons here at five dollars and up get early access to all my content, which is typically two weeks of of daily content ahead of time uh anyone else want to uh want to uh shoulder stuff out 
Uh, you can check me out Mondays and Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on twitch.tv slash Celtic Scribe. Also at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Friday nights. Usually I play story-based games, both fantasy and horror. And Please I don't sw- dab. Word- God dang it, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Leave dabbing back in 2015, please. Sarah, go ahead. Um, I'm not doing anything. I'm just playing a lot of World of Warcraft, and I, I apologize for all the World of Warcraft got in your timeline if you follow me. That and all the really terrible uh my continuation of my of my uh Bell and Out there fan art that I've been recruiting because all of it's very, very good and I'm very excited. But uh I'm not doing anything, I'm sorry. I'm still working on that secret thing, I promise. I promise the secret thing is almost done. I just you know re- reach out to people and be like, "Hello, where is mm-hmm. where is the stuff I'm working on?" But uh, Mesa. I'm not cool. I promise, mm-hmm. but I'm here. Hi. I'm gonna be. I, I'm probably gonna be retweeting a lot of a lot of Street Fighter stuff. So, because um, this is this is a pretty 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 big deal. Um, uh, you know. I, Play fighting games. Support your locals when they come back. That's 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 all I gotta say. Alrighty, I think that's gonna go ahead and do it. Thank you for everyone for being on. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye. Bye. Have Bye. a wonderful time. Bye. Have a beautiful time. <laughs>